Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Student Dentist Gibby. Today I'm going to be talking about how to create a study plan for your DAT. So stay tuned. Alright, so how do we make an effective study plan? The first thing is you need to actually schedule a date for your actual test for your DAT. Just some advice for picking a date, you want to pick a date at least three months in advance because these spots they fill up really fast in the Prometric testing centers. Um, also whenever you pick a date just stick with it okay it costs money to change it. If you're if you're more than 30 days in, out it's 25 bucks if you're you know from 6 to 30 days it costs sixty dollars and then within a week it's a hundred bucks to change it. So you don't want to pay the extra money just stick with a date and go with it. For picking your DAT, where do you go to schedule it? Well, you go to ADA.org. There's a tab at the top. They just redid their website. Tab's called Education Career Tab. Go to that, go down to Dental Emissions Test, and then you need to get a, a dent pin. Okay, dent pin. This pin is like a pin number that's gonna stick with you probably for the rest of your life. Um, I had to use it to sign up for boards. You're gonna have to use it for your boards and probably even later down the road. So, you get the dent pin, then you can just pick on um, the application for the, the DAT. So you just apply there. All right, they'll send you an email, it takes a couple weeks, and then you just follow their instructions in the email and schedule your actual test, okay? So the first thing is to schedule your test. The second thing is to fill in your calendar, all right? You have to figure out how much available time you have, okay? You work, you work backwards from the testing date that you selected. So fill in dates that you cannot study, you know, maybe you have a birthday, you know, for a family member, or maybe you work, so you have your work schedule, things like that. So put in all those times where you can't study, and then everything else, fill it in with study time. But the key thing is you need to just write it down. If you don't write it down and you don't have it anywhere, you know, on your phone or on, on a calendar, on your computer or on paper, you're not gonna stick with it. It's just gonna be like, yeah, whatever. All right, so write it down. Okay, so I actually made a little sample schedule that I want to share with you guys. On a one day a week, I just took it off. And for me, that was Sunday. Another day of the week, which was Saturday for me, I did full length practice test every single week on Saturdays, okay? Because my actual test was on Saturday. All the other days, I did flashcards in the morning from eight to nine, and I basically studied whatever topic I wanted here I have biology, gen chem, o chem, quantitative reasoning. And then I took a break for lunch, usually around 12, then I kept going until about four, had another break, and then I kind of would just review material the rest of the evening for a couple hours, and then I would end my day with flashcards. So that was kind of a sample of my, my study calendar. It was a little bit different initially. I started with just solid topics first, and then later in my studies, I would do it every single day, a different topic. Um, I did study for my test for six weeks, but a lot of this is all based off of you and your schedule, but the biggest thing is to create a schedule and write it down, okay? I promise that will just help you so much. Stay tuned for my next um, video, part five of the DAT series, where I talk about how to actually study for the test. I want to talk about, you know, building your stamina, flashcards, I'm going to talk about taking your practice tests, and things like that, okay? Thank you so much for watching, and good luck, guys. See ya.